One of the newest features on SeniorBall.com is our In the Film Room segment. And today we're going to take a look at interior offensive linemen. And one of the players that we've already featured on our profile has been Brian Stork, the center from Florida State. Today we're going to take you behind the scenes and take a closer look at what NFL evaluators across the league are going to see when they go to Tallahassee. Okay, we're talking about interior offensive linemen and in particular the center position. And this is Brian Stork from Florida State. This is video from last year's game against the Florida Gators. On this particular example, the center, one question that scouts ask is can he snap the ball and move? And here Brian's going to snap and move to his left. This is a basic running play to his left and you can see him combination block with the left guard. They get movement at the point and basically bury the Florida Gator defensive lineman. Now there are three things outside of height, weight, and speed that scouts are going to look for when, it, when you're talking about the center position. Number one is football instinct, or his FBI. And before this play ever started, he's already identified who the mic is, what direction that the offensive line is going to go, because there is a number count from to the left and a number count to the right, and it's all determined by the call of the center. The second thing that scouts look for is the athletic ability of the center. Can he snap the ball, move to his left and right? Does he have the overall foot agility uh, that is necessary to play in the NFL? And then the third thing is his ability to anchor the pocket, meaning can he set the base of the pocket so that the quarterback has a place to step up uh, once he throws the ball. In these three examples, we're going to try to show you uh, each of those qualities. And this first one is, again, a running play to the left. He combination blocks with the left guard. They get movement at the point of attack. The second play that we're going to see from the end zone copy, of course, with these offensive linemen is an even front. Florida's in a four, mat, four men down situation. Storr is going to snap the ball and move to his right. And in this particular case, his hands are inside, but one of the questions on him is going to be the overall strength. In other words, he's got good technique with his hands, but he needs to do a better job and show more strength and more forcefulness in terms of extending his arms and locking out on this defensive player. The thing that I do like about him here is that he has a nice base with his feet, they're not crossing over, and he's got excellent knee bend for a player who stands over six foot four. Uh, as an interior offensive lineman. The third example I'm going to give you is, a, is, a pa is an example of pass protection. In this case, he has a nose tackle over his head, but Florida State is going to slide the line to the left, meaning from the right tackle over, they're all going to slide left. This running back is going to move to his right and pick up the end man on the line of scrimmage here. Now, Stork's main responsibility is to secure this nose with his eyes up in case this linebacker were to, to blitz, or if one of these other defensive linemen stunt to the inside, he would be there to pick him up. So he secures the nose, slides to his left, and you can see that the left guard for Florida State, the defensive tackle slips him, and Brian is there to pick him up with a good solid punch to the torso of the Florida Gator defender. But the bottom line for any center that's going to play in the National Football League, he has to be smart, he has to be tough, he has to be athletic, and he needs tremendous strength.